Welcome to God's Work Our Hands weekend. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, try again. Welcome to God's Work Our Hands weekend. Yeah! All right, all right, all right. Good, good. You might have noticed that on a shirt around here somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If you didn't get one, we have some more out uh, just outside the door. But maybe you thought that God's Work Our Hands, it's just a shirt. It's just a shirt. Well, yes, it is a shirt, and it's worn all over the ELCA, all throughout the U.S. and the Caribbean. Uh, we wore them when I was in Amarillo, Texas. We had these beautiful yellow shirts there. It was fabulous. I've seen pictures from pastor friends in Alaska wearing them, and uh, Virma Velas, she wear, <laughs> wore hers from Puerto Rico yesterday, so thanks for bringing yours uh, from Puerto Rico. Appreciate it. But God's work, our hands, it's not just a t-shirt, though. You might have noticed it also on our ELCA churchwide communications because the ELCA is more than just here at 4814 Paper Mill Road. There are over 9,000 congregations all throughout the country. There are 3.5 million members more than what are just here today. So I'm thankful there are those other 9,000 locations because we couldn't fit everybody in this one building. Man, can you imagine how many services that would be in one day? Whew, dear Jesus. But all of us make up the church together. So you'll see whenever there are communications that go out on behalf of all of us, you'll see God's work, our hands, as part of the tagline in those communications. And it's pretty catchy, you know, God's work, our hands. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a way to reinforce that bond that we all share together in Christ. It's a bond, though, that we live out this weekend among our congregations as we go out and get dirty in the name of Jesus. As you'll watch on social media today, you'll see pictures of congregations all over serving in the name of Jesus in these beautiful yellow shirts. They're easy to find, which I think you were driving by the corner of Johnson Ferry and Laura Roswell and said, there are all those yellow shirts. I bet that's our people. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this uh, day, and so when you look at all those beautiful yellow shirts all over the country, you'll see some of them visiting fire stations, some folks cleaning up city parks, other folks serving meals for the hungry. This day, this weekend, is kind of like a booster shot of excitement for being the church in the world, in this world that desperately needs the church. Now, at God's work, our hands, it's all of those things. But we know that God's work, our hands, doesn't happen just when you pull on a yellow shirt. And it's not just stuck on our letterhead, and it's surely not confined to one weekend a year. For me, God's work, our hands, it's become a way of life. A way of life. And the things that we do today, they seek to cultivate that way of life in us. Caring about friends in Guatemala, for instance. Maybe you care about them uh, more than just to sign up and make a Christmas card for them in the gathering room. But that's not just a once a year kind of thing. But it's something that grows from there in this relationship throughout the year. Or sharing meals with refugees or with homeless neighbors. Today, that's a wonderful thing. And it gets you connected so that you might continue this work of God, of sharing your life together and raising your voice to speak out for those in need. Or people who have been painting walls, clearing land, planting seeds, visiting shut-ins, sorting clothes, holding up God loves you signs. Yikes. Picking up trash, building relationships at, parking in, um, at parks and in bowling alleys. Today, these are catalysts for living God's work our hands in all the rest of your life, for living God's work our hands in civil society and in your work and in your school and in your home. And you know what? I think it's working. I think it's working. Because I watched you this week with great pride as your pastor. Even before our projects for God's work our hands had begun, you had already started the work. When the call went out to house Hurricane Irma evacuees, we had dozens of families respond before the end of business. Some of them told, told us that they were already on their way to Florida to pick up Grandma. I'm like, that's God's work with our hands. Go get her. 
Other people had said, we've already opened our homes to family and friends who are on their way from Florida and other places. That's God's work with our hands. And others responded to that email, offering their home. Some of the people who responded, they offered their home, and then in a follow-up email said, now, how long might they be here? (laughs) I love it. I love it because that's daring, bold faith, stepping out, saying, you know what? It's all about grace. We'll share. Come, receive the hospitality of God here. That is God's work with our hands. That's the God's work, our hands, baptized way of life. Now, of course, not everyone can respond to every request in the same way. But I am proud of you for those who have responded in so many ways. I'm proud because your response, it shows me that you have been formed through the scriptures and through baptism and formed with communion and worship and Bible study and mission projects, that you have been formed to respond faithfully and graciously with the hospitality of Christ. And that is what God's work with our hands looks like. We also hear God's work our hands described in the scriptures today. I hear in Matthew 18, Jesus say that you, that you live out God's work our hands when you pursue reconciliation. I hear in Romans that God's work our hands looks like honoring the commandments and making no provision for the parts of us that would deny God and God's justice in the world. I hear Ezekiel say that the word of God, that the way of God is to turn from evil and to live, and to live. That's God's work with our hands. That's the baptized way of life. It's the life that we live in the strength of the Eucharist. And it's the life that I also call resurrection life. That life that we live with Jesus. That life that we live because of Jesus. That life that we live shaped by Jesus. So in this God's Work Our Hands Sunday, I want you to be thinking about how you will cultivate the life of God's Work Our Hands in you. Do you know the next step that you will take in nurturing that life and nurturing those characteristics in you? Maybe today you'll start with one of the projects that you've already signed up for. Or you'll head from here to the gathering room to make Bibles or cards for Guatemala or bed notes for our friends at Must. There are lots of projects. Maybe that's a first step for you. And then after you've done that, come and talk to me or to Pastor Dave and we'll take that next step together. Because God's work, our hands, it's not just a day. It's our way of life.